Hi. Okay, so in this video, I want to talk about a new um, right-click feature we added to SuperPower Chat GPT. We already have uh, this like uh, a few feature that appears in when you right-click um, on a page. This is a new feature I'm going to talk about today. Uh, I've talked about other features in other videos on our channel. Make sure to check those out. Uh, but before we start um, to use SuperPower Chat GPT, you need to go to Google, search for SuperPower Chat GPT. Click the first link, it will show you to this page. Use the button that says Add Chrome. You click on that button and it will add the extension to the browser. Once the extension is added to your browser, you can go back to ChatGPT, refresh the page, and you'll see the features of Superpower starting to show up on, on your page. Um, now, the feature I want to talk about today is the right click feature. So, we previously talked about some of the right click features of Superpower Chat GPT. For example, if you're on a website and you select a text, you can just right click Superpower Chat GPT and you can send that text along with a prompt to Chat GPT um, to run that prompt on that text. It can be like maybe you're looking at a long text and you want to summarize it, or maybe you're like looking at like some comments and you want to respond to those comments, you can just like send the text along with a prompt and, and immediately run chat GPT. The other feature we have already talked about is when you send a screenshot of a page to chat GPT. So if you don't select the text and you right click on the page, you see a button that says send a screenshot to chat GPT. If it's the first time you're using it, you're going to see allow to send a screenshot to ChatGPT because it requires a permission. But once you give it the permission, you can send a screenshot of any page you are looking at to ChatGPT. If I do that with this page, with ChatGPT page, you can see that it took a screenshot of the ChatGPT and it sent it to ChatGPT. I can do that with any page. Now, the new feature we added is about images when you right click on a specific image. So for example, if you go to Google, search for animals, I, just, I already did that, um, you see a bunch of images here. If I want to send this a specific image to ChatGPT, if I right click on this image, I see a button here that says send image to ChatGPT. Now, uh, if you notice, um, you don't see the other previous menu or send a screenshot um, of the page to ChatGPT anymore because I, I right clicked on a specific image. If, for example, I right click up here, I can see the superpower ChatGPT menu with that has sending a screenshot. And if I select some, some text here, um, I can see the prompt. So all these menus that you see here, they only appear when you select the right thing. So if you select the text, you see your prompt. If you don't select anything and you don't click on right click on an image, you see sending a screenshot. And if you do right click on an image, you see send image to ChatGPT. If I click on this button now, it will send this, like just that image to ChatGPT. And now I can talk to ChatGPT about that image. It's a very easy way to do this. Um, the alternative would be for you to like take a screenshot or download this image into your computer, then go back to ChatGPT and upload the image into ChatGPT. So we wanted to make it a lot easier for you to talk about images uh, on ChatGPT. Now, two things to remember about um, this feature and all of our right-click feature. The first thing to remember about the right-click feature is that when you use the right-click feature and send something to ChatGPT, if if you have multiple ChatGPT tab open, it will only send it to one of those tabs. So if you, for example, if you're using, um, you have multiple tabs and you're trying to send an image to ChatGPT and you go to ChatGPT and you don't see the image in your ChatGPT, it might be because it sent it to another tab on um, on your computer. So. If you have multiple tabs open of ChatGPT, just either make sure to check all of those tabs after using the right click, or just close all of them and only keep one open to send to use the right click feature. The other thing to remember, uh, this is specific to the image feature, um, like right click and sending image to um, ChatGPT. Some websites don't allow you to like easily download the image. Uh, on their website and send it to like another website. For example, it worked with this website 
but maybe this on this one, if I try to send this image to ChatGPT, I do send image to ChatGPT, it opens ChatGPT, but it doesn't load the picture. It's because that website is locking like download of the image using like a computer code. In that case, um, uh, the only option for you would be to either just click up here and send uh, using use the send screenshot to ChatGPT. This way I can just send the full screenshot of the page to ChatGPT. Uh, you can see that it's already uh, uploaded here. Or you can just do that. You can just go visit the website and just try to um, send a screenshot of the page from here. That way you're not seeing any other image. So if I do um, send a screenshot to ChatGPT again, you can see that it's going to open ChatGPT and it's going to upload a screenshot of that page. So if clicking on the image itself doesn't work, you can use, like you can send a full screenshot. That that one is guaranteed to always work, but the image itself uh, sometimes doesn't work because the website doesn't allow you to um, upload the image uh, or download the image and send it somewhere else. So this was um, a quick overview of the new right-click image feature. Another cool thing about this is that you can technically like go to like one of your older conversation uh, that has an image already. I can just go right here and like I want to like talk about this image, for example. I can just right-click on this image and then say send image to chat GPT and it will very quickly just upload that image into my input. And I don't even have to continue. I can just like start a new conversation and that image will still be there and I can continue the conversation with that image. So that's another like pro tip about how to reusing an image that you already have in chat GPT using the right click link. I hope you find this um, useful. Let me know if you have any question and thank you.